If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. Today, we have some pretty bad news. Well, not really bad per se. It depends, you know. But I guess for us selfish boxing fans, it's a little bad, right? According to Bob Father, Aram, you know what I'm saying? Well, can, can we take a moment to, you know, clap it up for Bob Father, man? You know what I'm saying? 93 years old. Damn. I'm sorry. Well, you know, he's he, 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 he's still kicking, you know, and he's still running his business. You know, he may be old and up there, but he's still young enough to bully judges and, 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 and rob fighters on the daily. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just joking. Don't send your goons after me, Bob. Don't 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 do it. I'm I was just a joke. I was just a joke. Look at you scared now, you ho. Scared like a little white pussy. Big salute to Bob Father though, man. But yeah, uh he has disclosed some information as it pertains to Arthur Betterbiev versus Dimitri Bivol rematch, you know. Um he's saying that it may not happen until October twenty twenty five. And you know, to much of our dismay, you know, we want to see the immediate rematch. Um he's saying that they might have an interim fight, you know, in between their rematch. And you know, if you think about it, it's it's kind of okay you know it's understandable now i know a lot of us are going to be disappointed but if you do know that the main reason why we had this fight was because of the involvement of big turk you know what i'm saying turkey al yeah. and saudi arabia particularly riyadh season right well riyadh season runs from october to march and you know that's kind of a quick turnaround because if you have that fight right then then I think that'd be rushing it, you know what I'm saying? Especially with Paterbi, if he usually only fights like once a year, maybe like this year, he just fought in January, he just fought in October. January against Colin Smith, most famously in October against Dimitri Bivol. Now you'd be like, okay, well, if they, well, if Riyadh season ends in March, why not have it in February, January? Well, as you know, um, February is only four months out and that'd be a quick turnaround to have such a, such a intense matchup, you know, right then, you know, and not, not to mention that, as you know, um, Paterbiev is Muslim, right? So, you know, what's, what happens in between February and March? Well, Ramadan does. So if you do have it at that time, it kind of puts Paterbiev at a disadvantage and we don't want that. Now we'll say this, a quick turnaround, let's say if they did have it in January per se, well, I feel like, you know, Paterbiev has a has a history of, of getting injured, right? So I think rushing him back into a fight after just going for the full 12 rounds for the first time, I think that'd be ill-advised to put him as a, at a disadvantage. And we don't want that, right? We want them both at their best. And then, uh, uh, so so having the fight later or well, not having the fight as quickly will, will benefit Baturbiev. But I think having it in October will benefit Bivol because what? Baturbiev will be 40 by then because he turns he turns 40 in January. Matter of fact, he'll be approaching 41. Damn. I'm sorry. So he'll be even older. So that benefits Bivol as well. So it's like you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. I think that the quick turnaround would 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 be disadvantage disadvantageous for Baturbiev, you know, but then also the 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 further it goes as well is also dis disadvantageous for Baturbiev as well. But then Bivol, I do think that it would probably behoove him to have an interim fight just to get your you know get your confidence back, which I don't think he lost any because you know it was mostly considered as a controversial matchup. But let's say that you know in the interim Baturbiev could fight his mandatory, which was called by the IBF again and Michael Efert. And I don't think that would be too difficult of a fight. No disrespect to Michael Efert, um, but I think Baturbiev should win that pretty handily. And then Bivol, you know, you can get you a little tune-up fight too. Like maybe he could fight Dan Aziz, who just came off of a loss, a close loss, or he could fight. Um, um, let's say Hot Rod Kaladzic, you know, somebody like that who's who's about the middle middle of the pack when it comes to uh, 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 um, competitiveness at the 175 pound level. And if you really want to step up, you can fight Anthony Yard, who just came back and he didn't look too impressive, but you know he's still a good fighter. And the good thing about Anthony Yard and Hot Rod Kaladzic, you would have a common opponent with Baturbiev again, in addition to the other commonality that you had in Joe Smith Jr. So uh, I think that uh, in term uh, in term uh, matchup isn't all that bad, you know. what I'm saying not for me, but I know a lot of us are going to be disappointed because. We want the immediate rematch but just think about it as like uh deontay wilder versus tyson fury if you remember their first fight that ended in a draw they had interim fights in between you know before they came back and had their second match so you could look at it like that you know and i don't think it's too much of a bad thing um and hopefully they get picked up right 
at the beginning of October 2025, the beginning of Riyadh season, good Lord willing. And what Bob has also disclosed is that, you know, uh, Big Turk has done some fights outside of Riyadh season, the, the time frame, and outside of Saudi Arabia, but he's been, getting, he's been getting a lot of pushback from the Saudi Arabian community, you know, and I think that's probably would behoove him to try to adhere to their customs and have the fight during the designated time period of Riyadh season, which is between October and March. So, like I said, I think that for, for um, a, a, our immediate reaction will be one of disappointment but if you look at the logistics of things and how things are breaking are, are broken down i think that this this would probably bode well for them to have the rematch in october because yes Paterbia will be older i mean he's not getting any younger anyway but this will give him time to have all of his to, to make sure that all of his lingering injuries will be fully healed or as healed as possible and he'll recover from those and then bivol could kind of get a tune up too and see where he's at and make sure that his head is straight and also Baturbiev, the rematch wouldn't interfere with uh Baturbiev's religious practices and observations of ramadan you know what i'm saying so i think outside of our immediate impulse to get disappointed i could understand why this fight would be pushed back potentially to october next year good lord willing you know so at the end of the day man i'll, I'll be excited to see Baturbiev back in the ring and i'll be excited to see bivol back in the ring and then hopefully have them fight fight each other and that'll build even more intrigue for the fight and i and Baturbiev only has 21 fights so it's not like he has a, he's older and he has a lot of a, a lot of fights you know his ring mileage is very low relative to other fighters you know what i'm saying so you know i think he has like something like 100 less rounds than, than bivol so i'm um, not saying that it's the same thing between age and rounds necessarily I'm not saying this is direct comparison but you know when you factor those things in <clears throat> excuse me I think things will be all right, man, if you look at it that way, man. But y'all let me know in the comments who would you want to see uh, Bivol fight in the interim. And, uh, you know, we're probably going to see Baturbia fight his mandatory if he does fight anybody in the interim as well, unless he gives him step aside money. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you think the October date better if it's Bivol more or better if it's Baturbia more? Or it doesn't really matter to you as long as they fight. To me, I'm kind of more of the latter. I don't think it really matters too much. You know, of course, we're going to look at the age and stuff like that. But Baturbia doesn't seem like he's slowing down. Uh, um, you know, he knocked out Colin Smith last and then he had a great fight with Bivol. And Bivol, I, I don't think he needs a tune-up, but, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing him in, in, in a fight in the interim. It'd just be like when he fought Malik Zanad when Artur Baturbiev had to postpone his fight because of his, his his knee to his meniscus. His knee to his meniscus. His injury to his meniscus when he hurt his knee, and he had to fight Malik Zanad, and I was cool with that fight, man. Them all look good, so y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, though. So appreciate y'all rocking with me. As always, don't forget to like the video, but most importantly, remember with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets